Time is up. Today, the clock hits zero as homeowners just scramble to appeal their skyrocketing property assessments in Jackson County. But tomorrow, the clock could soon restart. Giving people until September to fight the rising property values. 41 Actions reporter Dia Wall joins us live. Dia, those values hit some neighborhoods harder than others. Kevin, that's absolutely right. I went to a Kansas City neighborhood that got some of the biggest increases. A few people I talked to are satisfied with the original three-week extension to file an appeal. Others, though, say they need more time. You just don't expect for it to go up so high so fast. That seems to be the consensus from Jackson County property owners. Thousands of them scrambling to file assessment appeals. It feels like it's rushed. It feels like they need more time to um, let people get in and do the things that they need to do and, and to apply. The County Board of Equalization extended the original deadline by three weeks. That time ran out Monday. On Tuesday, the board is set to vote on another extension. The proposal, I think, is to go as far as September 1. Even in a month's time, it's still hard to get the word out to everybody. It really is. The county assessment director says the properties with the highest increases were valued first. When we got to properties that fell between 15 and about 25 percent, we simply ran out of time and we took the 14.9. That so justification isn't enough for non-voting board member Preston Smith. They had two years to prepare for this. Now, desperate owners wait to find out if they'll get the extra time they say they need. Uh, I tell you, last week I wasn't given a 0% chance. I mean, it's still not a done deal that's going to pass tomorrow. The fact that it is on the agenda, I think it looks pretty good. A great relief because it's a uh, weight off your mind. <laughs> you have time to get everything in that you need to get in. There are three voting members on the Board of Equalization. Preston Smith isn't one of them. That meeting is at 845 tomorrow morning. We'll be there in the newsroom. Dia Wall, 41 Action News. Dia, thank you. Homeowners started battling this deadline in June. The first deadline was June 24th with the county. That's when leaders said they would not redo the assessments. The county executive Frank White even said property values were undervalued for decades and needed to increase. The process sent homeowners to the Board of Equalization. The board's initial deadline was July 8th, but that was extended to today's date.